Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. I hope you are all having a lovely day today. I am going to be unboxing uh, Diamond Art Club's Cape Cod Afternoon by Chuck Penson. This is a round drill cut. You can tell by the round circle on the box. And anytime there is a round Chuck Penson available, I am going to jump on it. Uh, most of Chuck Penson's kits through Diamond Art Club are square uh, drills, which I'm not a fan of. That's just me personally. Um, but whenever there is a round one, I try to get them. So I do have a little bit of a stash of some round Chuck Pensons. And maybe one day I'll be able to um, participate in a Chuck Along. Now, I will say, I've already tried to do this unboxing once before. I was in the middle of it and I got a phone call and I had to stop and redo it. So I'm just starting over. So I've already opened it, but that's okay. No big deal. How many of you got this diamond painting? Let me know in the comments below. Oh yes, uh, let me reach these before we get into that. Uh, this is your tool kit, it's a standard tool kit. The only difference between square and round are you don't get tweezers, but you have everything in this that you need to diamond paint with. This is the sticker sheet, Cape Cod Afternoon. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, now these are all individual stickers that you can peel back and put on your storage containers or on your baggies. I use baggies, so I just peel the sticker, throw it on the baggie, and dunk the drills in. Um, so yeah, works great for me. I know a lot of people don't like using baggies, but um, that's what works best for me. All right, there is your log book sticker. You can put that either in a log book, you can put it on the end of the box um, if you store your boxes uh, so you can see what it is and pull it out easily. Yes. All right. Okay. Such a pretty, pretty diamond painting. Okay, so you've got the house and the clouds up here. I'm going to have to do this in sections because of I can't fit it all in. Just roll it out. There we go. You've got the the little dock over here. Here's your boat in the water. And then down at the bottom. That's all of your water. Isn't that pretty? Yes. It's gonna be a lot of confetti. I know it's gonna be a lot of confetti, so. Alright, so on the left side at the top. You do have your uh, key code, 45 colors. This one has one, two, three ABs. Uh, at the bottom right, you also have your key code. Um, in the very bottom left, you have your schematic, uh, the title, and of course the artist. I, I wish that all diamond painting companies would do this and list the artist. Um, I think that's very important to give artists credit Okay, so let's see if I can get a majority of this in here while we do this. Okay, um, I had already opened the drills. These are all your drills. I'm not going to go through all the colors, but a lot of grays, uh, grays, blues, um, a couple of browns, um, some peach color, some aqua. But we are going to go over the ABs. But before we do that, let's show you the drill field. I can do this. Very clear. I have yet to have an issue with any of the um, symbols being, you know, problematic. So, very clear. Very clear. Okay. Get this back to where we can see the house in the boat. Okay. So, you have three ABs. The first one is a, it's like a red coral AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Um, it just puts a shiny coating on top of the drill uh, to make it sparkle. So, this red AB is number one. Anywhere you see, oh, camera, camera, camera. Come on, there we go. 
Anywhere you see the red, the pops of red, that's where this AB is going to go. You see red here, up through here, around the top of the house, or the bottom of the house right there, a few over here. So that'll be a nice pop of uh, sparkle there. Uh, the white AB is 141. That is a check mark. So that is going to be sprinkled all throughout this entire section of cloud here. It's all throughout here. Um, as well as this. This is 125. This is like a very off white, almost has a green tint to it. If you look at the two side by side. There's a little bit of a difference over here. Um, this one obviously is more white. But both of these ABs are going to be sprinkled throughout this whole section right here. Um, nothing in the house that's only going to be, you know, in the clouds, which is perfectly fine. So, yes. All right. So, like I said, this is a 56 by 71 centimeter. Um, I really think this is a doable size in a round kit. Uh, for me to be able to participate in a chuck along. Um, the only reason I haven't done a chuck along, and I've had some people ask me why, is because most of Chuck Pinson's um, canvases through Diamond Art Club are, you know, at least this size or larger, and a lot of confetti, and most of them, like I said, are square drills, um, which square drills take me such a long time, and I just, I can't get one done within 30 days, and most of the chuck alongs have been only for 30 days so um, that is why I haven't participated it's not that I didn't want to I do um, and I know Mindy just works so hard at, at you know making the chuck along such a fabulous event um, so I definitely want to participate so I, hopefully this can be one that I can participate in next year uh, I think this one is a workable size so I'm going to turn it sideways just for a minute, and we're going to do a sticky test. Very sticky. I've had some of you comment that you really don't like it when I do that. <laughs> like, it makes you anxious. Sorry. Always got to make sure the canvas is sticky. But yeah, such a gorgeous, gorgeous diamond painting. Love it. Love it. And you got the birds up here. I don't know how well they're going to show up, but I mean, obviously you'll be able to tell they're birds because they're up in the sky, um, but they are, you know, pretty small, but all of the detail here in the flowers by the house, that's going to be gorgeous. Um, I think the water is going to be absolutely just fabulous because it's a lot of like different shades of blue and I think some some pink and peach throughout here so and the boat is a real pretty aqua so it's gonna look really nice really nice so how many of you have purchased this kit um, this kit is $54.99 on Diamond Art Club's website when I checked when I made this video it was still available which I was kind of surprised at um, I would have thought this would sell out but it is still available right now um, at the time of me making this so I will have the link down below for this kit if for some reason it's not in stock when you see this video uh, just sign up for their email and you can be notified of when it comes back in stock if it does hopefully hopefully it will absolutely great and it's not it's not a ton of colors it's only 45 colors so you're not looking at you know a whole bunch of uh whole bunch of kidding up. Um, I could probably use two Harbor Freight kits. What are those? Those are 24 each, so that would only be 44. I'd be one short, but that's okay. I could pull one from another one, or I could just put them in baggies. So, um, And I'm not sure how I would section this off. I wanted to try release papers, but I like to see the image um, as I'm working on it, and with release papers, you can't see through uh, the white. So um, that's why I like to use parchment paper. Uh, works great on all canvases um, and I just I have a hard time sectioning off the plastic and then cutting each section it just I don't know it, it's stressful for me I don't know 
If there's an easy way to do it, let me know. I've watched so many people um, how to section uh, off canvases with washi tape and it just, it's hard because I feel like I'm gonna cut into the canvas when I cut the plastic out of the section. Um, it just makes me nervous. So anyway, probably use parchment paper. So that is Cape Cod by Chuck Pinson. Let me know in the comments below. Like I said, if you've purchased this kit, if you've worked on it, have you completed it? Let me know. Um, and if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Appreciate you. And why don't we leave some kind of uh, boat emoji, um, if there is one. I don't know if there is one. Or some kind of, you know, ocean-related emoji. That would be great. I hope all of you have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your week. And I will see you again very soon.